you're the teacher responsible for the group of Spanish students. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Chief Superintendent Slipper of Scotland Yard. Sit down. Thank you. What seems to be the problem? Well, I'm afraid we've uh, got good reason to believe that one of your students was suspiciously interested in one of our exhibits. Uh, an etching by Goya, to be precise, which has subsequently disappeared. Um, I expect the students were just excited to see a Goya in the British Museum. They wouldn't have taken anything. I wouldn't worry about that. Um, in any case, it's pretty impossible to think that they could take anything from not display cabinet, don't you think? Well, under ordinary circumstances, um, yes. But the, the cabinet had been left unlocked uh, following a routine cleaning procedure. Oh, um, I'll introduce you to the teachers that they've been working with. But I have to say they're making a mistake. We're looking for a student with the following skill set. Um, firstly, a knowledge of art, so as to be able to choose a valuable piece. Um, secondly, someone with a keen mind and an eye for detail. Um, perhaps with a knowledge of architecture. Uh, someone with an understanding of science or technology uh, in order to understand how to remove the etching from the display case with some physical skills, uh, so as to be able to find the etching, uh, possibly even distract the guards um, with some circus tricks. And the thief would be somebody who knows the museum well. Uh, if we're able to find the student who matches this description, I think we may well have found the culprit. Well, yes, we have a student, if not several students, who fit that description, but I have to tell you that our students are respectful, trustworthy young people. They're not going to just have taken something. You better make sure you have an awful lot of evidence if you're going to think of making any arrests. It's ruin their lives. This is a believable. What? A Goya painting has disappeared from the British Museum and they <coughs> think he did it. Don't look at me. I couldn't even a secret from the show. I could even do anything that like that. We know uh, you uh, you wouldn't have to it. Don't be ridiculous. But Julius, uh, he's always joking from a van because your fam his family uh, doesn't have much money. Yes, and they have to sell their houses and everything. Things are bad for him. Uh, <coughs> that money will change her life. This is serious. We will have to persuade him to give it back. I have an idea. You know that old play Punto Vejuna? Whole, whole village stand together to protect the ones who the police want to arrest. If we say that we are all guilty, they won't do anything. And uh, in the lean team, we were thinking like Julio to return it. Right, uh, so he wants me to identify the student, uh, likely to know uh, which artwork is the most valuable. Well, that is extremely difficult. Um, only someone with uh, great knowledge and interest. Exactly. Whoever took the etching uh, must have known that it was the most valuable piece of work in the cabinet. Well, uh, I think we should like, take a look at this. Good morning, we are in the National Gallery. My name is Marta and I'm with two Spanish students. Hi, what's your name? Hi, I am Ines. Hi, I am Marta. Uh, do you like this picture? Yes, yes it's, it's fantastic. fantastic. What is it about? Uh, this picture is about uh, a man is going to decapitate Lady Jane Grey. And why highlight the protagonist? Uh, because she wears a, a white dress.
Why did takes the woman a bill fall? Because she is gonna die. Thank you. We are reporting for, from the National Gallery. I think we need to narrow our search. Here. Hello, are you the architecture Hello. teacher? Yes, I am. So you were able to identify uh, a student um, with the kind of knowledge of the museum, uh, the British Museum, that would enable them to get around without attracting the attention of the guards, and um, someone who was able to memorise a map and the layout of every floor? Well, it was tricky because they were all highly skilled in understanding the plans they were given. But the most advanced is the one on this recording. Science and technology are changing our lives. And they are also changing the architecture, but we still love buildings from the past. Which are your favorite buildings in London? I love the Glove Shatter and the Because and Admire Shakespeare. And Tudor style. For me, it's the Royal Albert Hall because I love the circular buildings and the colors of the bricks. Reporting from London. Thank you. Mm, lovely. I wish my son was so articulate and bright instead of playing computer games all the time. Yes, they are amazing, really. Especially when you remember that English is not the first language. Mm, so you're the art teacher? Art? No, I'm a modern art teacher. I've heard about your investigation, and now I think this might be of interest to you. Hi, I'm Ramon, reporting from the Tate's Modern Museum. <laughs> we have found a Dalis and a Picasso's room dedicated to the horrors of the Spanish Civil War. I, I'm with with two students and I give you some questions. Pablo, what was more impressive for you in this room? The most impression how was Picasso expressed the horror on war with with crying woman uh, with her dead son. Okay Pablo. Jorge, from the from the art history point of view, what could you say? It's interesting to underline that this a woman uh, appears in Picasso's uh, Guernica. Okay, Jorge. Ya está, listo. <laughs> what else have you done? We painted uh, this uh, with color greens. How does it make you feel? I feel happy. Okay, I'm finished the questions. I'm Ramon and I'm reporting from the Tate's Modern Museum at London. Hmm, I think we might need to narrow our search. Oh my god, this mask is too scary. Hi, my name is Kema and I'm uh, with Aida and Benito. Uh, we will go uh, talk about the skull of the mammoth. Uh, hi Aida, 
Where was the mama found? Uh, the mama uh, was found in Britain. Okay, and um, what does the mammoth look like? It looks like an elephant. Okay, how long is it? It's two meters long. Oh, uh, when did the mammoth live? Uh, the mammoth lived 200,000 years ago. Okay, thank you for your time. Um, uh, that is everything from us. Well, um, thank you for sharing that. Um, <coughs> educationally interesting footage, um, but I don't see how it throws any light on the investigation. Uh, can you shed any light? What investigation? I thought you were just picking the most interesting and relevant topics for educational purposes. Sir, we're in a hurry. Uh, if we don't find the etching before the group goes back to Spain, uh, there are going to be serious repercussions. Well, what about this then? You'll be looking for a student with a bit more detailed knowledge about the British Museum. I'm sure you'll find this interesting. Hello, I'm Andrea Mayor. I'm in London in British Museum and I'm with two tourists who have had live a good experience. When was the female Spain made? It was built in the second century AD. Okay. Where was it discovered? It was discovered in the Upper Egypt. Okay. What things make it special? It is special, special because its body is formed by the head of a woman, the wings of a bird, the body of a lion, and the tail of a serpent. Oh, it's great. What feeling have you experienced during your visit in the British Museum? During my visit, I feel a lot of things, uh, some, a lot of things like peace. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. I could, but uh, this recording doesn't prove anything. Perhaps. But you haven't seen evidence of their scientific skills yet. I don't know about in real life, but in films, thieves need to have some sort of understanding of science and technology to get around modern security. Have a look. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Andrea. Welcome to the Science Museum. I am going to interview two Spanish students. Hello, my name is Javi. Hello, my name is Maria. What are your phobias? The most important phobia for me is uh, sinophobia because I'm afraid of dogs. And you? My phobia is the sinophobia. I am scared of making of decisions. What are you going to do later? Uh, uh, I don't know! You should see this. It's a recording made by the students in the hostel. We, the students, confess that together we stole the, the sleep of reason produced monster from the British Museum. I stole it. It was me. I'm the thief. I do it and I do it again. It was me. I had to take it. I took it. Well, mystery solved. It would seem that we have the evidence now that all the students stole the etching together. <laughs> or not. Have you seen the news? It's amazing, really. Um, it turns out that the, uh, the etching had just drifted out of the open display cabinet. It's all over the papers. Uh, the cleaner sat down on one of those benches to have his lunch. What happened was he mistook the Goya etching for his brown paper sandwich bag. So he wrapped his sandwich in the etching, put the sandwich bag back in the cabinet, and then went about his business. So the etching's actually back. It's a little bit sandwich stained, but... Um, all's well that ends well. <laughs>